All right, I was working on a power supply the other day and it was using a 15 volt zeners and five volt zeners. And it used one 15 volt zener uh, in part of the circuit and then it used five zener diodes in a series in another part of the circuit. And I questioned why, why didn't you just use two 15 uh, volt zeners? And uh, many viewers pointed out that this would have a better temperature coefficient. Well, what, what does that mean? It means that um, even though they start out at 15 volts, if you have a higher temperature in, in, the, in the ambient, in the room, it, as the temperature goes up, these voltages will change. And uh, 5 volt zeners are much more stable than 15 volt zeners. I, I covered that on a different video. But um, one would imagine, though, if these 5 volt zeners have a small coefficient, it gets multiplied by 3, though. So they have to, their temperature coefficients have to be at least three times better than a 15 volt zener. And uh, is that really true? Um, so I thought, well, let's test it. So in my particular setup here, I've got uh, a 20 volts coming in to a 15 volt zener. And I'm going to have 470 ohm series resistance, and I'm going to get about 10.6 milliamps. So in this circuit here, we're going to have about 10.6 milliamps flowing, and I have two different devices here. So let me show you what I'm going to do. All right. Uh, some time ago, I built this little oven, and it's a <laughs> it's a Hewlett Packard oven. <laughs> I used an old uh, an old HP instrument and turned it into an oven. So it's got a temperature temperature controller in it. It's got a heating element in it, and then the top it's got a, a, a chamber here that I have a big one inch foam. All, all around, and inside the oven, I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put the uh, test zener. So let me let me put them down here on the ground, just so you can see them. Um, so I've got uh, three zeners in series, and then one zener all by itself. So that's what I'm going to put inside the box. So so let's put them in the box. So the box is measuring about 77 degrees C without any power on. Um, let's go ahead and power everything up. I'm going to be using two different voltmeters. Uh, the top voltmeter is a Hewlett Packard 334401, and the bottom was a Keith Lee 2015. They're both six and a half digit voltmeters. They both agree within a very, very close, within a microvolt or something of each other. So anyway, um, the top meter will be the 15 volt zener, and the bottom meter will be the 5 volt, 5 volt, 5 volt uh, series. On the Hewlett Packard meter, I can hit null, and on the Keithley meter, I can hit rel, relative, and that zeroes them out. So any change in voltage will be referenced from here. I'm going to set the box to uh, 104 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 40 C. A lot of uh, temperature, I mean, a lot of electronics devices are specified at temperature from 0 to 40 degrees C, so I figured 40 degrees is a good, good value to use. Um, now we've gone up to uh, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, and you can see that the um, difference in voltages is about 2. But there's about a difference of two between uh, the uh, zener that's 15 volts and the three zeners in series. So we've reached 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Our 15 volt zener has increased by 0.118 volts, and our series of five volt zeners has increased 0 0.0467, uh, which is two and a half times. So yeah. Uh, having 555 five, five, uh, five, five, five zener in series is two and a half times better than just having one zener. So yeah, those temperature coefficients are way, way better than a, uh, than a 15 volt zener. So. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, it is true. Uh, three is better than one.